Our objective in this lesson is to find solution of linear equation in one variable. Let's have a quick review. From my previous video lesson, you have learned that linear equation in one variable can be written in the form ax plus b equals c. And the highest exponent of the variable is the invisible 1. Before we proceed solving, let me discuss first the properties of equality. Here are the first four properties of equality that we are going to use to solve linear equations in one variable. These properties deal with operations, allowing us to perform on both sides of the equation. The first one is the APE, Addition Property of Equality. This means a same number can be added to both sides of the equation. Example, if a is equal to 7, then a plus 6 is equal to 7 plus 6. The second one is the SPE, Subtraction Property of Equality. It means a same number can be subtracted from both sides of the equation. Same concept goes with Multiplication Property of Equality and division property of equality. These three properties of equivalence are focused on the idea that quantities on both sides of the equation mean the same thing. It means they are equal and it doesn't matter which one is on which side. The first one is the reflexive property of equality. This means a number is equal to itself. It's like a mirror that reflects one side into another. The second one is the symmetric property of equality. This means an equation can be written in opposite order. If A is equal to 20, then 20 is equal to A. This is usually used when we rewrite the variable on the left side of the equation when initially it is on the right side. The last one is the transitive property of equality. Example, if A is equal to 5 and 5 is equal to C, then A is equal to C. Let us start solving. X plus 10 is equal to 25. Our objective is to solve for the value of X. In order to do that, we have to isolate it. We have to find a way to remove 10 here. So, our first step is SPE, Subtraction Property of Equality. Let me copy first the given. Since this is plus 10, then I am going to subtract 10. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do it on the other side as well. Be fair. Next, we simplify. Positive 10, negative 10 will simply cancel out, leaving us with x. 25 minus 10 is equal to 15. And then we check if our solution satisfies the equation. Let us substitute 15 to the original equation. So 15 plus 10 is equal to 25. Are they equal? 15 plus 10 is 25. So they are equal. It means our answer x equals 15 is correct. Remember our answer x is equal to 15 because there is another way of solving this problem, a shorter way. Again, x plus 10 is equal to 25. This time, I am going to isolate the term with variable on one side and the rest of the terms on another side. So it means I'm going to move positive 10 to the other side. And remember, if you move a term and it goes over the equal sign, the sign changes. So this will become minus 10. So x equals 25 minus 10. Now we solve for the value of the unknown. And 25 minus 10 is equal to 15. That's it. We have the same answer. x is equal to 15. Let's have another example. So again, I'm going to isolate the term with variable on one side and the rest of the terms on the other side. So I'm going to move negative 8 on the other side and it will become positive. Now let us solve for the value of the unknown. Negative 7 plus 8 is equal to 1. Let us check. Let us substitute 1 here. So this will become 1 minus 8 is equal to negative 7. Are they equal? 
1 minus 8 is equal to negative 7. And so, they are equal. Our answer, x equals 1, is correct. Another one, what if we have like this? Bear in mind that our objective is to solve for the value of the variable. In here, it is x. To do that, we have to remove this numerical coefficient. And we are going to do that by applying DPE. Let me copy first the given. So division property of equality. The number that we are going to use as a divisor is the numerical coefficient of the variable. Here, that is 3. So we are going to divide both sides by 3. Let us solve for the value of the unknown. 3 and 3 will cancel out. So we have x and 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. Now let us check. Let us substitute 7 in our equation. So 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Are they equal? And 3 times 7 is 21. So they are equal. Our answer x equals 7 is correct. Let's have another one. Again, D, P, E. So let me copy 16x is equal to 6. The numerical coefficient of the variable is 16. So I'm going to divide both sides by 16. Let us solve for the value of the unknown. 16 and 16 will cancel out. So I have x and 6 divided by 16 are both divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now let us check. Let us substitute 3 over 8 in our original equation. Are they equal? 16 times 3 is 48. And 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6. So they are equal. Our answer x equals 3 over 8 is correct. Another example, here we have a fraction on one side of the equation. Remember our objective, x should be left alone. So we have to find a way to remove this 8 here. To do that, we are going to apply MPE, Multiplication Property of Equality. Let me copy the given. Since we only have one fraction, we are going to multiply both sides by the inverse of the numerical coefficient of the variable. The numerical coefficient of x here is 1 over 8. The inverse of 1 over 8 is 8. So we are going to multiply both sides by 8. So let us solve for the value of the unknown. 8 and 8 will cancel out. So we have x negative 5 times 8 is negative 40. Now let us check. Let us substitute negative 40 in our original equation. Are they equal? Negative 40 divided by 8 is equal to negative 5. So they are equal. Therefore, our answer x equals negative 40 is correct. Next one. Here we have two fractions. We are still going to apply MPE, but this time we are going to use the LCD. So let me copy again. The LCD of 4 and 3 is 12. So we are going to multiply both sides by 12. Let us simplify. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. 3 times x is 3x. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. This time, we're going to apply DPE. We are going to divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of the variable. So divide both sides by 3. Let us solve for the value of the unknown. 3 and 3 will cancel out. So we have x and 32 divided by 3. There is no lowest term for that. So 32 over 3. I'll let you do the checking for this one. I'll teach you another technique. If we are given a fraction on each side of the equation, we can use cross multiplication. So this is 3 times x equals 4 times 8. So 3 times x is 3x and 4 times 8 is 32. From here, we can apply DPE. Let us divide both sides by 3. Now let us solve for the value of the unknown. 
3 divided by 3 is 1, so we have here x. Then copy equals 32 over 3. We have the same answer as earlier. Let us do extra challenge. Our first step here is to combine like terms. So we have x plus 2x plus 3x plus 5x moving to the other side will become minus 5x equals 20. Minus 1 moving to the other side will become plus 1. Plus 2 moving to the other side will become minus 2. And minus 3 moving to the other side will become plus 3. Next, we simplify. x plus 2x is 3x plus 3x is 6x minus 5x is x. 20 plus 1 is 21 minus 2 is 19 plus 3 is 22. Let us check. Let us substitute 22 here. Are they equal? So we have 22 minus 1 is equal to 21. 2 times 22 is 44. Copy plus 2. 3 times 22 is 66. Copy minus 3. Copy equals 20. 5 times 22 is 110. Are they equal? 21 plus 44 is 65. Plus 2 is 67. Plus 66 is 133. Minus 3 is equal to 130. 20 plus 110 is 130. So they are equal. Our answer x equals 22 is correct. Another one. Our first step here is to apply distributive property of multiplication. 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. Copy equals 25. Now we isolate term with a variable on one side and the rest of the terms on the other side. Meaning we have to move negative 35 on the other side and it will become plus 35. Let us simplify. Let us copy 10x and 25 plus 35 is equal to 60. From here we are going to apply DPE. Let us divide both sides by 10. Let us solve for the value of the unknown. 10 and 10 will cancel out. So we have x and 60 divided by 10 is equal to 6. Let us do a quick checking. 2 times 6 is 12 minus 7 is 5. So the answer here is 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So our answer is correct. Another one. Here we will apply MPE, Multiplication Property of Equality. Let me copy the problem. We are going to use the LCD of 3 and 6, and that is 6, so let us multiply both sides by 6. Let us simplify. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times x plus 2. 6 and 6 will cancel out, so let us copy equals x minus 5. Distributive property of multiplication, 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 2 is 4. Copy x minus 5. Let us combine like terms. Let us rewrite 2x. Let us move x to the other side will become minus x. Copy equals negative 5. Move positive 4 to the other side will become minus 4. Let us solve for the value of the unknown. 2x minus x is x. Negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. You do the checking on this one. You can also apply cross multiplication in here and still you will arrive with the same answer. Another one, here we are given decimals. Our first step is to combine like terms. So we are going to move minus 0.3x to the other side and positive 3 to the other side. So it will become 0.2x plus 0.3x equals 25 minus 3. Let us simplify. 0.2x plus 0.3x is equal to 0.5x. And 25 minus 3 is equal to 22. Since we only have one decimal place here, we are going to multiply both sides by 10. 
10 times 0.5x is equal to 5x, and 22 times 10 is equal to 220. Now, we're going to apply DPE. Let us divide both sides by 5. Let us solve for the value of the unknown. 5 and 5 will cancel out. So we have x, 220 divided by 5 is equal to 44. You do the checking on this one. Remember these quick tips in solving linear equation in one variable. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. <laughs> Let us answer, let us solve for the value of x, first step, distributive property of multiplication. 3 times 2x is 6x, 3 times positive 5 is positive 15, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Now let us isolate terms with variable on one side and the rest of the terms on the other side. So 5x moving to the other side will become minus 5x. And then plus 15 moving to the other side will become minus 15. Let us simplify. 6x minus 5x is x. Negative 15 minus 15 is negative 30. Now, let us check. Let us substitute negative 30 in our original equation. Are they equal? So, let us copy 3. 2 times negative 30 is negative 60. Let us copy plus 5. Let us copy equals 5. Negative 30 minus 3 is negative 33. Are they equal? Again, let's copy 3. Negative 60 plus 5 is negative 55. And 5 times negative 33 is negative 165. Are they equal? 3 times negative 55 is negative 165. And so they are equal. Our answer, x equals negative 30, is correct. Gets? Our next lesson is Writing Solution Set of Inequalities.